I decided to sit down and quickly film, um, not quickly because it's gonna take forever, but uh, film a empties video. And I've got this huge Sephora bag filled with stuff. Um, and I'm just quickly gonna tell you what it is. I'm not gonna go into reviewing the items, I'm just gonna say if I like them or not. I have a whole lot of items. I started collecting these maybe like a year ago or something and I just never got around to filming the empties. So like, I may have like several face washes, but it's not like just in a few months, it's like in a long time, but I'll just start off. I will, uh, I'll start with cosmetics and I have it in this neck bag. First off, it's this powder, which is not completely intense, as you can see, and it's the Rimmel um, Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent, and I love this. Um, it keeps you matte, it sets your foundation, it's just, you know, good, cheap, I like it. I have two of the same mascaras. This is the Maybelline Volume Express 1x1 one one mascara and I love these. I have another one on the go. I absolutely love them. Then I have this which is the Body Shop Honey Bronze Bronzing Powder and I pretty much can't get any more out of it. Um, and I have a new one on the go and I absolutely love this too. It's matte and they have lighter shades, darker shades. It's just really good. Then I have this, which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation, and I love this as well. It's so good for like spring and summer when you don't want a lot of coverage, and yeah, I really like it. Then I have this, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Effect, the eraser type thing, um, and I really like this. I have another one on the go and a backup, so yeah. Then I have a few eyeliners. First off is Rimmel London Ex Exaggerate eyeliner, which is this one, and um, I mean it's fine. It transfers very easily, but I mean it's cheap and good. Mac Black Tracks liner. This one is not completely empty, but it's totally dried out. I have another one on the go, and I really like it. Then I have two L'Oreal liners. I have this one, which is the Super Liner Black Lacquer, and this one with the blue writing, which is the Super Liner Carbon Gloss. And I liked both of them. Um, this one is harder to get off, so if you make mistakes, you can just wipe it away with a Q-tip. Um, it really stays put, but that's good if you if you're going out all night or whatever, going out in rain or whatever, it won't come off. Where this will easier come off, um, but it lasts all night as well. So I prefer this one, which is the carbon gloss one, to this um, one because this one is just harder to get off. Okay, on to skincare and the hair things and lotions and what do I know. First off is this, which is the L'Oreal Sublime Glow Radiance Revealing Scrub and I really enjoyed it. It's not very harsh. Um, it works and yeah, I like it. Then I have this, which is the L'Oreal Sublime Fresh Skin Perfecting Purifying Gel Wash and I absolutely love this. This is so good. It completely unclocks all my pores and removes everything. I love this. I swear by this. I have another one on the go. I just absolutely, absolutely adore this. This is so good. It has salicylic acid in it which like goes into your pores and like clears them out. Makeup remover. <laughs> Um, these two are the Garnier Eye Makeup Remover 2-in-1, which is really good for removing waterproof makeup. Next is a MAC Brush Cleanser, you know, the pink stuff, and yeah, I mean, I like it. It's good for just spot cleaning, whatever, um, not, you know, deep cleansing, but like, you... I have a video on washing my brushes, but this is good for just, you know, if you just need to take the purple off your eyeshadow brush because you need to use gold or whatever. Okay, I'm back. I just turned on um, my just, um, what are they called? Well, my lamps um, and change the settings so hopefully you can see me. Let's continue. These are from the L'Oreal Skin Perfection line, which has 
almost just come out in Denmark, which I'm so happy about because I can get my backups um, because I'm on, I'm on my second ones of these. And this is the serum and I really enjoy this. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I like it. And then the moisturizer, which I like as well. I have nothing bad to say about it really. A eye cream. Um, this is just the one from, from Matas, which is just their own brand kind of. Um, with um, vitamin E, which I really enjoy and I like it. Nivea shower creams. Uh, this is the Diamond Touch and this is the Free Time. This one has such a nice smell. It's so fresh and like it will wake you up in the morning. It smells so good and it has this Hydra IQ which makes your skin feel really really soft. So I love this. It smells lovely as well. Not as fresh, more nighttime maybe. Um, and has lovely Oh, it's scent of white calla lily, so I guess that is a flower scent. Anywho, I like this as well. Um, I do prefer this one, which is the free time one, over this one just because of the scent, but they feel pretty much the same on the skin. Let's just take another shower product. This is the Soma Glory Clean On Me Shower Cream in the um, like pump type, and I really like this. I have another one on the go. Um, this is really fresh and nice as well, I have nothing bad to say about this. Then I have another face cleanser, this is the Nivea Daily Essential Refreshing Wash Gel. And I like this, um, I mean I feel fresh and clean, but it's not as good as a L'Oreal one, like to unclog pores and whatevs. Um, so I don't like this as much as this one. I have a couple of deodorants, I have the Garnier Mineral Ultra Dry. And the Dove Pure No Fragrant. I don't use any of these anymore. I use the Dove Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena or something like that. Um, which is like blew my mind. Like it smells so nice. Anywho, um, this is good if you don't like smells or you can't, you know, do the perfume kind of thing. Like if your skin is very sensitive and it keeps you, you know, dry, whatever. This does the same, this has a scent though. I like this very much at first. I guess sometimes you just need to change deodorant, like sometimes they just stop working for me. I don't know if that's just me, but I had to move on. But I really enjoyed this while uh, I used it. Um, and I preferred this to this, but now I obviously prefer my new one. Then I have some Set and Care Olay Shave Gel. I like it. I don't use shave gel all the time. When I do, I like, I always use the Shealette ones. They're really good and yeah, nothing bad to say about that either. This large cup, got to be rocking it. Dry shampoo. I think this is a long time ago since I used this. Um, I think I liked it. It didn't have that white cast that sometimes dry shampoos have. So I actually think I like this quite a lot. I don't know why I didn't repurchase, but now I have Batiste and like all sorts of other ones I have to try out, so. But maybe I should buy this one again. This is the Dove Hair Therapy. Damage Solution Intensive Repair. This is a conditioner and like a treatment in one and it's really nice. And it's one minute, like you put it in, you just wait for that one minute and it does like the treatment and the conditioner and your hair feels amazing afterwards. I actually have no clue what it's called, but it is um, the Versace one in this type of square bottle and it's like greenish um, in the bottle. And it has like a citrus scent, which I love. Oh my god. It smells so good. It's just so expensive. I don't have the money to buy a new one. That was actually all my empties. It didn't take as long as I expected, but probably because I didn't talk about the products like individually very long. But anyway, that was all for me this time. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment and please remember to subscribe. It helps me out a lot and um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!